Thanks for clicking on this video. Joe Rogan is an MMA commentator. He's a stand-up comedian, and he owns the largest podcast in the world. And on one of his podcasts, he was asked this question. Dude, what's your morning routine like? Joe went on to list seven crazy things that he does on a day-to-day -day basis. So in the past seven days, I've done those seven things exactly. And let's see how it affected me. Dude, what's your morning routine like? Like I wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Like I wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. This is it. Day one. Day one. Let's get into the probiotics, probiotics. and the Himalayan salt. salt. Later on in this video, I'll be showing you why I'm doing this and the benefits of both of these two things. And also later, I'm going to be talking about the fasted, fasted cardio, cardio and intermittent fasting and all of the other things I'm doing for the Joe Rogan morning routine. But let's get into the Himalayan salt and the water. So from the videos I watched, it said a pinch. A pinch was all that was needed, which I was expecting a little bit more. But a pinch of Himalayan salt, the water is right here. Don't have anything to mix it with, so I'm just going to use this banana. And then you can take the probiotics. It tastes salty. So what you've just seen there is what I would do in the morning once I woke up at 3 a.m. I would take my probiotics, probiotics and my Himalayan, Himalayan salt, salt alongside all of my other daily supplements, and then I would start my 16 hour intermittent, intermittent fasting. Fast. And I'll talk more about the results I get from all of this at the end of this video. But by skipping breakfast, I was able to get a two hour deep work session in straight away, first thing in the morning. Then after that deep work session, I would do some fasted, fasted yoga, yoga or fasted, fasted cardio. cardio. And as a fun experiment, I thought I would see how much I could stretch my hamstrings if I stretched them every single day for seven days. Then, at around 2 p.m., I would break my 16 hour intermittent fast with a huge meal. 2 p.m., I went to bed at 10 p.m. last night, so that's 16 hours fast, time for my first meal. Now I'm trying to get 3,000 calories in a day, and skipping breakfast, that makes it quite difficult. So I was having a huge meal. Then, after I refilled my body, I do some weightlifting in the afternoon, just like Joe Rogan talked about. And finally, for my last meal, I would eat game meat or salmon. If you eat elk, you're eat, you're literally eating a super athlete. You know, oh, it's badass. Well, if you think about like how healthy it is to eat salmon, like a healthy wild salmon, that is a an animal that's out there hustling. And before I share with you the three amazing benefits I got from doing this crazy routine for seven days, let me quickly share with you two points and one problem with this experiment. And the first point I have to make is about waking up early. Now, Joe Rogan said in his morning routine that he wakes up at 3 a.m. every single day. Like I wake up at three o'clock in the morning. And I tried this for the first two days until I had a huge epiphany about waking up early. You see so many people around this craze of waking up early. They see successful people that wake up early. They wake up at 5 a.m., they wake up at 4 a.m., they wake up at 3 a.m. And people try and model that. They try and wake up early. But in reality, the thing that you should be focusing on isn't waking up early. It's going to bed early. Because think about it. Waking up early but having a bad night's sleep or a short night's sleep is not worth it. Your productivity will be compromised because of that short sleep that you had. So instead of focusing on waking up early, focusing on going to sleep earlier. And the reason why I didn't go to sleep at earlier to wake up at 3 a.m. for the rest of this experiment was because of my girlfriend's routine. She's a student nurse and that just wouldn't fit with us. So instead of focusing on waking up early, find the earliest point in the night that you can go to sleep, then calculate the amount of sleep that you need, then you can decide when you need to wake up. But first start with waking, going to sleep early instead of focusing on waking up early. And the second point I want to make is the stretching. Just see right here the benefits I got from stretching my hamstrings every single day. I instantly feel looser and more mobile and less prone to injury. Just seven days of stretching got me this crazy benefit. 
But now let's talk about the three main benefits and also the one biggest problem. So the first one I got was the pattern interrupt. Now in marketing and digital marketing and online advertising, they use this concept called the pattern interrupt. But very simply, they're doing something to snap you out of your routine and get you to pay attention to the message. And this is exactly the kind of thing that I experienced when doing the Joe Rogan morning routine. Because I changed my morning, my routine, my whole daily routine up so quickly with the intermittent fasting and the deep focus first thing in the morning, just like that, I was able to interrupt all of my bad habits and I was instantly able to implement all of the good habits that Joe Rogan does every single day. So the first one, by having the pattern interrupt, I was instantly able to use my time a lot more efficiently because of that interrupt I was able to plan my day as if from fresh as if my past self had died and in the philosophy of stoicism they have this concept a lot that you should take each day as if all of your past hadn't happened look forward to the future and do the best that you can with that future the problem this is what comes up when we get to the problem and just by the way I'm looking at my phone where I've got notes the main problem with this is I was changing too many independent variables at once and if you've done basic science you know that in an experiment you should keep everything the same apart from one thing and that's the thing that you're testing but because of all of the different things I was doing at once, it's difficult to look back at all of these benefits I'm about to share with you and find the real reason why these benefits were happening. Who knows if what I'm about to share with you was because of the probiotics, was because of the Himalayan salt, was because of the intermittent fasting, was because of the fasted yoga and fasted cardio. You just can't tell. Anyway, taking that, uh, moving forwards from that, doing the best we can with what we were given, the second benefit I got was energy instantly I found myself a lot more energized, not in just the I want to move around, but the energy to have the willpower to do the things that I need to be doing and get things done a lot quicker. I was found myself when before I may, when it gets too late at night between 7 and 10, that is when I get tired and I don't want to do work, but I found myself able to do deep work throughout the whole entire day. First thing in the morning and right in the evening, I was able to carry on doing work that pushes the needle forwards and gets more done in my business and in my university and with this YouTube channel. Now, the third benefit I received was the lack of brain fog. It was almost like before I was blind and now I could see because before I didn't realize the amount of brain fog that I had. And this is coming from someone who eats clean, who exercises regularly, who meditates every single day. I've just got to now to a new level of brain fog where it just I see things a little bit more clearer. Instead of walking through the forest and identifying everything as a forest, I now see it as trees to a metaphor, where now I'm just a little bit more focused and I have a little bit clearer of a mind. And again, I don't know what that was from, but this morning routine works and it is effective. Whatever the benefits come from, they come from something in this morning routine. Now, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you give this video a like. And if you're new around here, then make sure you go ahead and subscribe.